What's up everybody? Today I'm going to talk about something that happened to me not so long ago that changed my perspective on the universe and on life and on everything. Um, it was something very bizarre and I think it takes a bit of backstory to explain and once I have explained it I would love to hear your thoughts, your discussions, your comments in the comment section down below, your, your experiences if you've ever had anything similar to this. Because this thing's been plaguing my mind for a long time. It really, really affected me. Um, it was this year. It was recent. And um, it's put me down a path I didn't expect to go. So if you've noticed on the channel, this reboot of the channel, I've been really pushing that I want to do more paranormal, more UFO, more horror stuff. Um, it's a genre I've always kind of liked. But when this experience happened to me, it really ramped up quite substantially. And I want to put it out in the world. It took me a long time to talk to talk about it. I only told Steph about it for the longest time. Then I started to tell family members. And I haven't really told anyone else since. And I want to put this out there. Firstly, because I think it's important for these experiences to be heard. And secondly, if anyone else is dealing with anxiety about a, 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 a scenario similar to this. Then I'd want them to feel confident to talk about it as well. So let me give a bit of backstory. Let me set the scene and then we'll talk about the actual event. So for the past two years, my wife and I and our two kids um, have been traveling the United States in a converted school bus. You can see this on our Instagram. There'll be a link down below to my Instagram if you want to see it. But you people who have been to this channel quite a lot know all about this. It's the lifestyle I've had for a couple of years. We traveled from Maine to to. Florida to Texas to Colorado to California to the Redwoods to Phoenix. We went everywhere. We went absolutely everywhere in these two years. We met some incredible people and we did some incredible things. Uh, now, another thing that people know about me, if, you, if you're relatively close to me, is I like running. I really enjoy running. And my kind of um, baseline run is I love to do a three mile run. A mile and a half out somewhere and a mile and a half back. It's my baseline run. It's, it's my way of knowing where my fitness level is because it's the run I've always done since getting fit for the Marines, you know, upwards of 12 years ago. So it's kind of something that I've always done. And the past two years, we've been traveling in the bus. So in about March time, we spent the winter, well, we spent the winter down um, in, in New Mexico, staying warm and kind of keeping out of the cold. And when um, around March came, we decided to slowly start heading our way north so that we can go to the Pacific Northwest. Now, during these travels, we met some incredible people and we caravaned with some people and we decided to play, stay in a place just just outside of Phoenix in the north where there's some BLM land. BLM land is like land that you can park on for free for you know two weeks or so. And we stayed there for a few weeks with um some friends in other buses there was like four or five buses at one point it was fantastic we stayed there for a while we were doing the i was doing these incredible runs and it was a really nice part of part of our journey in the but in fact it was probably one of the happiest times i've been in the bus um just because we had such a great community we had friends around us we had support we were doing things at night like sitting around the fire having food and it was great it was great and for something weird to happen especially to me who I've never really seen anything weird. I've never, ex I've, I've always been fascinated, kind of like dabbling with paranormal stuff or horror stuff or UFO stuff and aliens. And, but I've never really got my own experience. I'm a very, very like, I don't know how you would say it, but um, I'm a non-believer. I like it. I enjoy it. But I'm a non-believer. I was a non-believer. So that's kind of the setup. That's kind of the, the background for those of you who don't know. We were traveling the country in this bus. We parked in Phoenix, just north of Phoenix. I've got the map up. When I talk about the story, I'm going to set the scene, okay? So we park up at this place in Phoenix, and I decide, okay, well, I need a three-mile route. I need my little run that I can do. So I'm going to, you know, go and, and explore. So I found a route. I found a really nice route. Let me pull up the route real quick, because I actually have both my Strava runs, and I have... um. The map itself of where we were the exact place which i just found this which is really cool so here's some of my strava runs don't don't let's not talk about my pace or anything like that that's for another story okay this is just me enjoying a run out in the desert of arizona okay so let me make this bigger a little bit 
So we're packed up here. If you see this green dot right here, okay? Might be a little small for people who are watching on their phones, but there's a little green dot up here. That's where the bus was. I would come down to this part right here. See where it kind of splits in the middle? So now we're the blue dot. On this particular run, it looks like I started a bit further back. But my run usually starts right there at this point right here where it's like right on this main road, this W Maddock Road, okay, in the, in the desert. And this was my three-mile run. I would run down this road to the end and back. And that would be exactly a mile and a half. And I would do that twice, okay? So again, on this particular run, there and back again. That's twice. So that would be my three-mile route. Now, there's one particular path. If you see this dotted line that goes across here and then this blue line, that's actually a river. So let me pull up the um, satellite view real quick. So we was around, in fact, we were right here. If you can see my mouse, mouse that's where the bus was parked. Here's that little V. And I would start the run right here on the bottom of that V. I would go this way and back to this and that would be my mile and a half and I would do it twice. Now about halfway down here, you see this weird, this is a river that goes down here, it's dried up on, on Google Maps. We were there when it was raining and this river was flowing. I've got a really cool video of that as well. But this part just before the river, you can see how it kind of looks like it's cut out. Can I zoom in there? I can zoom in. You can see how it looks like it's cut out here. That's because from this part here where these dirt roads are down to the river, it's incredibly steep, like very steep. I'm talking like a 45 degree angle right here. Very, very steep for a road. Um, so much so that when you're running towards uh, the downhill part, before you get to the top of the hill, it just looks like a fake horizon. Like it looks like there's just a, a sheer drop until you get pretty close to it. And, you know, for running, it was a great... A great um, experience to have because you can get that different um, types of running. You can do some sprints up the hills. It was really fun, and I've got some friends that I did this run with um, who can back me up on this. It was it was a pretty interesting hill to run on. Now I've set the scene. This is my run. It's you know it's around March April time, um, and I decide you know it's it's a really hot day. We're talking in the ninety degrees Fahrenheit. You can you can presume what it's like. You know, in March, April, in Phoenix, Arizona desert, very, very hot. Cactus everywhere. There's snakes about. It's a crazy time in that area where things are starting to explode with life and greenery. Because you get a crazy ton of rain, like all in one go. And then it's roasting hot and things hatch and stuff. And it, it's a crazy weird time. And it was a very interesting time to be in Phoenix. So that's the setup. Let me talk to you about the event very weird it freaks me out but i want you to come at this with a bit more of a um a bit more of um, an open mind okay because this is not something that i'm accustomed to i've never had anything weird happen to me before this incident incident and i've never had anything weird happen to me after this instance okay so this one particular day i'm deciding to go out for a run it's hot out it's very hot out it rained the, the previous day, so I wasn't sure whether that river, if I could run past that river. Luckily, I could, which was really nice. But it was a very hot day, and I decided to go for a run. So I come down here, right? And let me pull up the Strava thing, because I think this is a good demonstration. You can see the river on the Strava thing right there. So I come down, I go all the way to the end, and I come back. Everything's fine. I'm enjoying the run. I'm slow as usual, but everything is fine and normal. I turn around. And I start to run the second mile and a half, okay? When I get to about this point, I must be, I don't know, 50 yards from that fake horizon, okay? It's, I'm, I'm pretty close. I'm close enough so that, you know, I'm prepping myself to go running downhill, which I run barefoot, so you have to really kind of change the way that you run when you're going downhill. Um, so I was kind of preparing myself in my head, okay, I'm running downhill. This is the last lap. Let's push myself. Let's get this done. As I got to the hill, and I think it'd be better to show it on the maps right here. I must be close to where this lamppost is right here. I must be around here. And all I can see at the top of this hill here, so here's the fake horizon where the, where the barrier starts at the top. All I can see right there is this crazy cloud of flies. Like it is an un... I've never seen a swarm of flies so 
big in my life. It was it was baffling. And since kind of this experience happened to me, I have done some research and I guess it is very common for Phoenix to have a very large amount of hatching in one go of flies. If anyone's from Phoenix, I'm sure you can back me up on this. You get a large amount of rain. I saw it actually at a Reddit post of someone six months ago, which actually lines right up with when I was doing it. Um, says these flies are getting insane right now. Please tell me I'm not the only one dealing with these guys on my patio and backyard, right? Some people are like, I feel like it's never ending. So this is normal, right? I it just grosses me out. I'm just like, this is fucking disgusting. I don't want to deal with this. Um I'm gonna turn around and, and run back and I'll find somewhere else to run. Okay. My intention was to kind of go past that little V where I stop usually and then come back and try and make up that extra little bit of running. Okay, so I'm coming towards the hill. I'm on this side here. So if you're running towards the hill, I'm on the left-hand side of the road. And as I'm getting closer to the, to the flies, I decide I don't want to stop suddenly and turn around because I, I, I just don't like doing that. I like to continue running. So my intention was to kind of like run across the road to the other side and come back. It's an empty road. There's only trucks that go past to this thing over here. It was a very empty road. So I thought, you know what? There's going to be no trucks come in. I'm okay to just kind of turn around and come back. I knew trucks go slow up this hill. So I'm not any chance of getting hit. I'm just going to turn and we'll keep running to the side of the road and come back. This is where it gets weird. And I still get very, a lot of goosebumps and I get quite emotional when I talk about it because it scared me quite a lot. And I don't easily get scared. You know, I've seen some horrific stuff in the military. I've done some horrific things. Things have horrific have happened to me. And I just don't scare that easily, especially from stuff like this. Like, I don't get scared after watching a horror film and being in the dark. Like, it's just not me, right? Um, I'm running towards these flies, and I'm like, okay, I'm just going to run onto the other side of the road. And as I'm getting closer, I see these two red glowing eyes, right? Right in the middle of these flies. And when I say glowing eyes, I'm talking like they're looking at me. They're not past the flies. They're not in front of the flies. They are in middle of the flies as i look closely there's a silhouette you can't you can just see the silhouette and it's kind of like because there's so many flies it's just kind of like a blackish silhouette couldn't tell if it was a, a guy or a girl i couldn't see, there was nothing that it was just a weird silhouette and two glowing eyes and i could just see that the eyes were staring at me uh, look i got like let me pull up the chat i have severe goosebumps right now because every time i think about it, it really freaks me out these glowing eyes were staring at me, and I don't know if you've if you've ever been scared enough for this to happen, but it's almost as if like you can't do anything. You're like, Ugh. it's not like you're like like a horror film, like you'd run away. You just kind of freeze up. But I was still running. I was just kind of like, oh, what the fuck's that? So I decide, okay, I'm I'm like something's weird happening. I'm probably fine. It's not a big deal. So I start running across the road to come back and at this point i'm picking up the pace a little bit i'm a little bit freaked out i've got flies on me that i'm swatting away the flies were 100 percent real and it was very weird and i'm swatting these flies away and i'm constantly looking back and running and looking back and running and it was still looking at me it was like it was like following me as i went across the road and it was following me going back and it was there until I literally got to this V, oh, you can't see it. I literally got to this V and I decided to just go back, okay? It it was haunting. It felt terrifying. Like, it didn't feel like I was just scared. It felt like it was scary to look at and it terrified me. <clears throat> I got back to the bus. I didn't talk to anyone. Bear in mind, it's the middle of the day. Everybody's out. Everyone's talking. Everyone's doing stuff. It's a, we've got a good community at this place. And I walk straight into the bus. Um, the kids are outside playing with the other kids. Steph's inside cooking something and she can see that I'm visibly shaken. And she's like, are you okay? Like, she knows me. She knows that I'm, like, I'm not the woo type of person. I'm a very serious kind of like, I don't know. Like, I just don't, things like this don't happen to me. So <clears throat> I'm, I'm freaked out. I'm legitimately freaked out. And she says to me, you know, are you okay? And I'm shaking, like, and I'm shedding a bit of a tear. I won't be afraid to say it. I cried a little bit, mostly because I was worried that I was going insane or something. I was, I was worried that I was losing my mind. Like, I have, you know, I've microdosed in the past. I've done this other stuff. There was nothing going on that day. I was, I was in the right frame of mind. There was nothing wrong with me. I was hydrated. It was hot, but I was hydrated. 
I was wearing the things I need to wear when I'm going out running when it's hot. Like I was, I was on point. It was, every box was ticked and she could tell I was like genuinely shaken up about this. And I was like this, I, I, I was playing it in my head so much. I drew it for Steph. I was saying to her, look, like there's no, I, like this, this is not, I've, I've hallucinated before in the military from a lack of sleep in training and stuff like that. And, and I know that it's very different to what I saw hallucinations are incredibly different you when you come out of it you know that you're something wrong you know that you need something whether it's sleep or water or something you know that you've been in that frame of mind and usually when you are hallucinating it's colors or shapes and stuff like that it's not two fucking glowing eyes and a and a, and a figure right and a, this silhouette and it genuinely terrified me and, and i kept it a secret I only told Steph for a while, and then I eventually told some of her family. I told some of my family just to kind of grasp perspective, and also talking about it might help me think about it a bit more and figure it out. Um, but I know I was shook up that day. I even, after a few hours when I kind of composed myself, I drove our car right over here, down here, over to here, and looked about because I was like, why are the flies there? I didn't know at the time that this is a crazy phenomenon in phoenix where all these flies hatch in one go i drove drove the car over i was like is there a dead body is there a dead animal like why was there flies because i i physically know like i was getting bit by these flies when i was running away so i know that that was a legitimate thing like it wasn't that that aspect was not a halu a, a, an illusion or, a, or, or 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 something it was or something that's not physical right you can say that about the eyes you can probably dismiss the silhouette and the eyes no matter how terrifying or i know that i saw it 100 percent. but no matter how terrifying it was to me you could kind of dismiss that and put it in the paranormal genre but the flies were there the flies were 100 percent there i was swatting them away they were biting me there was there were flies okay so what did i see i don't know i don't know what i saw all i know is that it genuinely terrified me a lot and since then i've kind of um been obsessed with the paranormal and the ufos like there's a lot of ufo stuff coming out right now i i have a i kind of feel like it's all linked together that's just my feeling i don't i'm not saying what i saw was a alien or a ghost or a demon or anything like that i'm not religious i'm not a christian i am a little bit more spiritual since that happened I'm not a christian not a catholic i'm none of the major religions i follow my own spiritual path my nature-based spiritual path and um nothing has happened before that and nothing has happened after that i wasn't hearing anything i wasn't seeing anything none of them things happened it was just that isolated incident and it scared the crap out of me and i'll stop waffling on now i'm probably waffling on because i'm a little bit anxious and i'm a little bit worried about talking about it um i don't know how you guys are going to feel about it i don't know if this is something that you're gonna be like oh yeah 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 i know exactly what that is or or if you're gonna go oh, luke's going crazy <laughs> or whatever but it happened to me, it was valid to me, and what I saw was um, life-changing, in my opinion, because now my kind of, my my um, passion, at the time my passion, and still is very much, is reading sci-fi and fantasy books, but now I would say that I read 50% sci-fi fantasy, 50% paranormal stuff, because um, I need to kind of validate what I saw, I need to prove to myself that what I saw was real. And so I feel like I'm, I'm reading these books to try and learn as much as possible. I've tried Googling, you know, entities in, in flies. I've, I've tried searching all this stuff. If you could find anything linked to that, it would be much appreciated. I've tried searching that. I've not been able to find anything. All I know is that flies hatch in that area. And um, yeah, that's it. So let me know what you think. It's a very weird story. I understand. I don't really care if you believe me or not because I know that my experience was valid and was true to myself. Um, so it's more of a case of getting this story out there so that if anyone has had an experience like me, then it might help them in some way. Other than that, if you haven't seen, I am back on the channel Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays. I'm going to be live from 4 p.m to 7 p.m british standard time streaming the mondays and thursday streams are regular streams where i play really fun games like call of duty or spider-man or gears of war and halo or really fun games 
but Tuesdays and Fridays are now my paranormal horror kind of UFO streams. I'm going to be starting today by playing Alien Isolation, and eventually I want to develop that and do more stuff like a, a news segment, a podcast, and stuff like that, all about the paranormal horror genre because uh, it's something I'm very passionate about now and, and it's funny because this channel definitely had a little bit of horror there with the SCP the Warhammer you could kind of say is grimdark horror but you can definitely say it's grimdark but it's kind of horror um, and there was some like UFO paranormal stuff I'd react to as well and everyone seems to love watching me play horror games so that's going to be fun so if you haven't checked that out turn, out turn on the notifications you'll see me going live you'll see scheduled live streams Turn on the little kind of notify me when that stream goes live. And you can talk to me about this experience because this will be up before my Alien Isolation video um, stream tonight. So, yeah, you can come over and let me know what you think on the live stream as well. Other than that, links down below for everything. I love you all. Have a wonderful day. Bye.